Hey guys, now this is a kind of a part two to yesterday's European Super League breakaway um, announcement. Now, I must say that if you're a fan that buys everything, every new kit every season and, and, and goes through every game, then this is aimed at you. Now, we know that big money owners have been running these clubs since at least the Premier League started. So, you know, in the, in the early 90s. So this has been happening a long time. Now, there's a couple of points. And I'm focusing on you fans that go to the games, buy the shirts, pay for the Sky, Virgin, BT um, streaming services and, 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 and networks. Sorry... But this is your fault. And, and, and you may get annoyed with me. You feel free to, to discuss in the comments. Tell me what you think, you know, what, what I'm saying is wrong. That's fine. Um, the channel is Rob Reacts, so hence why I'm reacting. Now, as I said, we've known something like this is coming. Let's be honest, since these big money owners have, have, have taken charge. Now, my problem at the moment is the hypocrisy of fans. These fans of Man City, Chelsea, um, Liverpool recently, uh, you know, Arsenal, Man United, and well, sort of Spurs, but Spurs are just rubbish, aren't they? Um, but at the end of the day, these big money owners have come in and, and put lots of money in, and that is why these clubs are back where they are. If, if Liverpool's owners didn't come and, you know, and spend all this money, they wouldn't have won the league last season. No chance. No chance at all. So the fans of these clubs are happy that the owners have come in and spent all this money. So you're happy that the owners are doing this. OK. So, but now you're not happy that the owners want to make more money, get better players... You know, now don't get me wrong, I am completely against this idea. I stressed that in the last video. I am completely against the idea of this closed network, um, you know, not caring about the pyramid system, not caring about competing in the Premier League in, in, in the weekend, but focusing on this on this breakaway league at the week uh, in the week, because that's where the money is. Now, it's not the everyday person that can change this. And I don't even think it's the league... Um, the league can't change it because they will punish these clubs, but actually they don't care. There was a Sky Sports on Sky Sports News yesterday. They, um, there was a man that had contact with one of the members on the board, and the board member said, "You know, the other the owners they don't care of, of of the backlash. They don't care that they get punished by the by the league. They they are they will plan on putting weaker weaker teams in um, in the Premier League and, and whatever domestic league they're in because they are solely focused on that." Super League, because that will be where the money is. Now, how do we stop this? How do you stop this? That's the main thing. How do you stop this? Now, if you go to the ground every every season, buy the season tickets, stop. Stop doing it. If you buy a, a new kit every season, stop doing it. They they bring out all these new things and you buy it. I haven't bought a new, a, a new Saints kit for at least 10 years because basically they look the same every season more or less you know so i haven't bought a new kit in about well maybe 10 years ish okay stop buying it stop doing it stop investing all your money because all you do is feed these big owners now actually the the main that's not even the main issue because Go into the ground. The, the owners don't make much money from, uh, on the grand scheme of things, they don't make that much money from the, the ticket sales or the kit sales. That is not a huge proportion of their money. Yes, they do make money, so you still have to stop. But the main money is TV. It's TV. So this is a tricky one, obviously. This is a tricky one, obviously, because if you pay for Sky Sports, BT Sports, you know, Virgin that includes that. And actually, if you're from another country and you're buying these services, that is the problem. That is the real problem. Because that is where clubs get their money from. When they were talking about this Super League, uh, this Super League thing, 
The owners are getting the money from JP Morgan and all the TV companies from China, from, from Africa, from all these, you know, all these countries where actually the, the people can't come and see the, the teams. So what do you have to do? Stop buying Sky Sports. Stop buying BT Sports. Stop spending your money on these TV companies that are then giving the money to the Premier League, giving the money in future to this Super League. Stop doing it because all that goes into the owners' pockets and that is why they're able to do it. That is why they're able to do this because they know they will get the TV rights. They will get the money from TV. So you have to stop. If you care about your club, if you care about your club, you have to stop. Now that's the big teams. This is where the tricky bit comes in because it's not all of the Premier League teams and whatnot that are wanting this. My team, Southampton, yes, I know we're a business. We've got some Chinese owner that doesn't give a damn about football who wants to make money. I know that. Now, the problem with them not paying for Sky, for BT, for Virgin, etc., is that you also have to punish all the other clubs all the other clubs that that have the have that um have their game shown you know teams like you know a game fulham versus brighton well yes they're a business but you know fulham's owned by um the khan family from starters i think so yes they're still trying to make money so it's tricky and i understand that i understand that but if anything stop going to the games Stop buying the kits at least. Tell them with your wallet. Tell them with your wallet that you are not happy with what they're doing. Because they're, own, they're business owners. They're business owners. Money talks. I am a business owner. Okay? I'd like to think I've got some morality and some ethics, which they probably don't. But money talks. Money talks. You know? Um... And, and these guys can be bought with money. So stop giving them the money. You know, I've, I've heard them come out with the whole thing. Oh, well, they have to do it because spectators are, you know, we're not getting as much money from spectators. We're not getting as much money from TV. This is, this is the inflation problem. This is, the, this is the thing where maybe a salary cap can come in handy. Maybe a transfer cap can come in handy. Because the problem is, you know, wages keep going up and up and up because they have to go up. To get the best players, you have to offer more than another team. So, granted, yes, you need to stop buying tickets, buying kits. Stop, because all you're doing, you're not feeding the team, you're feeding the owners. And then that's when the the government have to, especially, I think it has to be the government, have to sort out things like a salary cap and, and, and uh, transfer caps. The Premier League won't do anything. They're absolute cowards. The Premier League won't do anything. The FA won't do anything. Um, we've seen that with referees. You, you, you've, you. Hopefully, you've seen my videos. The Premier League, they are the. They don't care. They don't care. They've got no control. The FA, they've got no control, and they don't care. FIFA, they don't care. You've seen that, like I said, with the refereeing. They're not there to make the game better. They're there to make more money and make more of a show. They're not there to make it better, like in other sports, such as rugby. Um, there's my thoughts. Once again, if you're one of these people that buys the season tickets, uh, you know, kits every season, pays for Sky, BT, stop. Stop doing it. That is the way you're going to help your team. That is the way you're going to help your team and get these bad owners out. On that note, hope you enjoyed. If you disagree with my opinion, tell me. That's absolutely fine. Because, because that's the, what's so wonderful about YouTube, what's so wonderful about the world. Everyone has their own opinions. Share them. As long as they're polite and friendly, share them. And I'll catch you next time.